This is the farm dam. This is what the dam used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. The old dam had a heap of trees around the outside, had an island in the middle, so the water quality was absolutely terrible. We then got the dam dug out, removed all the trees around the outside, waited for it to fill up, and this is it now. It's currently been two years since it got dug out and the water filled up, so two winters. Currently waiting for it to refill up again. So in that time, I've put in aerators, put in rocks in the drains, put fences in, caught fish approval. I've got a heap of different footage. I'm just gonna throw it all in. I'm gonna have different clothes, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, don't get too concerned. I'm just gonna basically run you through everything from start to finish as how I got to this stage. So let's do it. This is the old dam in winter time. It looks really good with the trees around the outside. But in the summertime, the trees drunk all the water. The water quality was terrible. We got the water quality tested and it was classed as toxic, even for animals. We got most of the trees removed and then we had to pump out the rest of the water from the dam so it could be fully dug out. There's two sections because of the island. So the back section had to get pumped from here to the main section so we could pump all the water out and then the island got removed. So once the island and all the trees were removed, we just had to wait for the dam to fill up. Once we get a fair bit of rain, the drain starts flowing. So we've obviously got a bit of rain here. It's flowing into the dam. And once the drain starts flowing, it doesn't take long for it to fill up. So we've had a bit more rain, it's running through the rock barrier and into the dam, which has filled up the dam. This is the outflow here. The dam is completely full and can't get any fuller than this. In the summertime we decided to put in an aerator, so we used a tractor to do a trench, so we put the pipe in. Been busy putting in some aerators. And you see one there. Got two more up there. The water level's dropped a fair bit since last time I showed you. So hopefully this will just aerate the water and keep everything happier. And I'll just take them out to the middle and drop them off. The aerator's in the water behind me. I'm just gonna pull it up so you guys can see what it is. It's working right now. That's just the back pressure of the other two being in the water. Just getting the rest drained out of the line. So this is the aerator. The compressor's about 400 meters away. We've got the poly pipe that runs through the paddock and then yeah, into here. This is just a disc with thousands of little holes, so just air rates at the bottom of the water. Then the water basically at the bottom follows the air up, the air takes it up, and then top water goes back down and just keeps circulating around and around. Air rates the water at the bottom, which is perfect, keeps the fish happy. I've got concrete here at the back just to weigh it down so it sits at the bottom. Let's throw this back in. In the shed behind me is where the air compressor is kept, which then the pipe runs through the paddock. I use a Wi-Fi controlled plug. As you see on the right there, I've got all the times, set as timers on and off all times throughout the day. And that's the aerators working. We added in another rock barrier at the start of the out drain. And this is the rocks for it. I've got two types of fish in the dam. I've got trout and silver perch to get approval. Had to stop them from getting out. I've got this big mesh fence line here. I've got some mesh up here and some double mesh down here. I've got two rock barriers to stop the fish from getting out. It took a year to get approval. The fisheries came onto the property. They took a heap of photos. I changed a few things. They checked where the drain led to, all kinds of things. So yeah, you've got to 
do a full process to get it sorted. We put some trout in, that's some brown trout. And we also put in rainbow trout. We let them sit in the water bags for a while and then poured them in. We also put in some silver perch that were already at a good size. I feed the fish some floating pellets so I can see them come up and eat off the surface. We made a rope swing. The first time I tested it out, my dad handed me a stick and said, use this. So this is how it went. I love the nervous laughter. It wants to be a bit lower for you, does it? <laughs> Safe to say, this is working a lot better now. The river gums drop all their seeds into the dam, spread right around the dam, then basically there's a heap of these little trees that I have to keep pulling out, otherwise it's going to turn out like it once did. These are the leaves and seeds that get dropped in the water. There's so many of them. Oh, yep. Nice. That's a fish. That hit so hard. Oh, listen to the drag. How good is that? Fishing in your own dam. How good is that? Oh, nice silver. Just a little guy, actually. Oh, I just came off. Would love to show you guys that, but it was a nice silver. Wasn't as big as some of the other ones we've got in here. Let's try to get another one. So much fun on this little light rod. You guys should definitely check it out. Backwater Revelation by Razor Edge Lures. I was just rolling that lure, just slow rolling it. And it just hit it so hard. Hopefully you can hear that without the wind. You just can't beat that, really. Fishing in your own dam. How good. Yep. Oh, that one's better. That hit really hard. Oh. That one's a nice one. How good is that? Nice silver perch from the dam. 
hit it so hard, right in its mouth. They've got tiny mouths, but hopefully they'll get a lot bigger than this and they'll pull a lot harder. How nice is that? Silver perch in your own dam. Just gonna put this back. Then there's a little trout. Look at that trout, how close is that? So, the cows have gotten into the dam. They obviously want to be in the video. There you go. I gotta go get them back out. This right here is a rock inflow. Can't wait for it to fill up. Got a little rock barrier here. Just runs through here, flows into the dam. I do want to build a little fence over top of here, but I haven't got to that yet. Basically all the water just flows through here into the dam. We've had a heap of bad weather lately. Hopefully this rain's enough to fill up the drain and then fill up the dam. Thanks for watching. Comment your thoughts down below and let me know if there's anything you want to see. Hopefully in the next video we'll get enough rain so the drain starts flowing and then the dam fills up.